Alcohol. Viridian State Prison is in Nevada. They've got a lab below the prison. That's where they're keeping Adana. The Nevada authorities have been hunting a serial killer for years. The Butch. Badlands Butcher. That's so your new identity. Me. I've entered your description into their database. Get yourself arrested. They'll throw you straight into Viridian State. Turned up. Been waiting for you for a couple days now. I take it Ava put you in here? Good to have another man on the inside. How is she? I don't know her too well, but it's clear all this is shaking her. She's putting everything she has into the search for your daughter. I think that's the only thing keeping her going. I can relate. Who's in charge here, anyway? Guy named Hadley. He's the one who gave you the sticky eyes when you walked in. An ex-con promoted all the way up to warden. Try not to rub him the wrong way. He's an engine man, through and through. Every bit as violent as his guards. Oh, and speaking of, most of the guards here are elite soldiers in training, and they're not big on warning shots. Some of the prisoners might have info. Those with influence. The two most influential prisoners around here are Lon Shibeta and Seth... Uh, Seth. Shibeta's Mafia, and he's still running his business from the inside. I imagine he gets along well with the Warden. From what I hear, they're always trading favors. The other guy, Seth, he controls the drug trade around here. Might be worth a visit if you need a boost. You'll find him in the gym. He never leaves. Apparently he's sick with something. Got it. You have a plan for getting out of here? I can't protect you while I'm looking for Adana. Don't worry about me. Ava's got it all figured out. Good. Now lead me to the Shibeta. I'll start with him. I'm not looking for problems here, Butcher. One toe out of line, and you're dead. Occupied. Now, fuck off! So you're the infamous Seth? No, if you say so. Something wrong? Looks like you're having a bad day. It's that fucking treatment. It burns. Sounds to me like you accepted Endrin's deal. Listen, shithead. I'm not in the business of shooting the breeze with any old asshole who wanders in here. Just tell me what you fucking want. If you got their treatment, you've been to their lab. Where is it? Oh, the lab? They put a bag over your head when they take you there. And I... Who the fuck are you to talk to me anyway? Did you not hear me? If you're not here for business, you can go fuck yourself. I heard you sell stuff that you can't find anywhere else. Where did you hear that? Does it matter? Either it's true and we talk, or it's not and I leave you to your writhing. Well... Okay, okay. Yeah, I got plenty of shit in stock. What you buying? Uppers. I can do that. And how do you intend to pay? I think letting you live should be paying enough. Who do you think you are, you fucking shit stain? Al Capone? I just have to snap my fingers and my men will take you down. I'm the Badlands fucking Butcher. Snap away. Ah, oh, the Butcher, huh? I could have sworn he died back in his home state. Where was that again? South Dakota. And the rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. The rumors of yours won't be if you keep fucking around. Whoa, now, Butcher. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. 
<clears throat> Perhaps we can come to an agreement. I give you your fix. And if I got a problem with someone, you give me a hand. Not a bad deal, right? I can work with that. Perfect. I have my stuff stashed at the bleachers. Take whatever you like. Guys, open the door for him. your guy at the top of those stairs. If you need me after, I'll be in myself. You're Lon Shibeta. In the flesh. And you're the notorious Badlands Butcher. Welcome to Viridian State, my friend. To what do I owe the honor of your visit? I know that the Warden offers certain prisoners a deal. Prisoners like you. So... You're looking to take advantage of the offer yourself. Fuck no. I just want to see where Endrin takes the prisoners who do. The lab. You're very well informed, my friend. Well informed enough to know that nothing in this life is free. I give you what you want in exchange for a small favor. What can I do for you? You see, two of my men think that the time has come for me to... Uh, Retire. A man can't advance in this world without possessing certain values. Ambition is one, of course, but so are prudence and loyalty. I take it these two men were neither prudent nor loyal. Yeah, catch on quick, I like that. The names are Neil Jordan and Eric Ross. What can you tell me about Neil Jordan? Neil has a job in the workshop during the day. Uh, do be careful when you take care of them, though. They watch that place like hawks. That said, all sorts of accidents can happen in a workshop. <laughs> all sorts. Where can I find Eric Ross? Uh, Eric's in quarantine. Most of the prisoners that get the Endron treatment usually spend a few days there afterwards. I hate to tell you, but unless you can find a way in, you'll have to wait until he comes out. Mm, I don't have time to wait. Guess I'll have to get creative. I'll take care of your men. But once it's done, I expect you to hold up your end of the bargain. Hey, Lon Shibeta is a man of his word. It's also the only way to get into the quarantine zone and deal with Eric Ross without being noticed. It's also the only way to get into the quarantine zone and deal with Eric Ross without being noticed.
sure the machine won't go haywire again? I've double checked everything. You're good to go. I even cut the main power supply and put you on a backup generator to be extra safe. It won't be hooked up again until after you're finished. Happy? Now shut up and get to work. Neil Jordan. Won't be easy to take him out without being spotted. said the main power was cut. I can fix that. Good? Lon tell you what you wanted to know? Not yet. He's not the kind of man to give up anything for free. Wants me to take care of two of his men. Who's getting the chop? Apparently Eric Ross is in a quarantine cell. I need to get at him regardless. Ross? Huh. I hear he reacted really badly to the treatment. Never stops asking for drugs. And that guy? He'll swallow anything you give him. Still, they don't exactly keep the poison within arm's reach around here. Check the infirmary upstairs. Something in there should do the trick. That should be all I need. Thanks, Dusk. If you need me again, you know where to find me. that last batch of drugs. I left everything on the table in the staff lounge. Seth wants us to send in everything before tomorrow, but the drugs still need some work. The dosage is too high. Right now, taking just one would put you six feet under. I've got to redo the dosages. Well, there goes our chances of an on-time delivery. Nice I'm not quiet. supposed to be here? That's...
Good. Just need to slip one of these to dear old Ross. Shit. Ross, I got pills for you. Thank God. I was at the end of my rope. What? What's happening to me? That does it for one target. Now for the other. So, what news do you have for me, my friend? Your two men are no longer a problem. Now, for your part of the deal. Very good. Lon Chibetta is a man of his word. Take this pass. It'll get you into Hadley's office via the infirmary. You'll find a secret passage into the lab from there. Best of luck, Butcher. I get the feeling this is farewell. So do I, Lon. So do I. Should be getting some tomorrow, unless he ends up in the infirmary. This is Hadley's office. Let's see. No. Found it. Laboratory. That's where they took Adana. Subjects four and seven are reacting badly to the treatment. Eric Ross and Seth Aguera. So I noticed. It's something we see often with heavy users of psychoactive drugs. Their cellular structures are weakened even before the treatment. So when we inject the serum, the metamorphosis is quicker and notably more painful. That girl who was here earlier. I just wish we would have had more time to study her. Indeed. The cellular structure was fascinating, wasn't it? What a pity. Well, it's not a total loss. 
We've still got the other one. She's old and has already gone through her first change, but still. I picked up your scent from down the corridor. You're like me, aren't you? Who are you? My name is Onawa. I am the pack leader of the Red Talons. And who are you? Onawa. I've read Indrin's reports about you. My name is Kahal. I'm looking for my daughter, Adana. Endrin kidnapped her and took her here. Adana's your daughter, is she? I met her. They had her locked up in the cell next door. I was their first subject. But I didn't give them the results they were hoping for. Whatever they are doing, I think it is linked to our first change. Adana hasn't gone through her first change. Their tests on her came back positive. They took her off to Endrin's headquarters. To do what? I do not know. Take me with you. All that awaits me here is death. 
Good work. Now, follow me. This door leads into an underground pocket. Time to move. 